Hey viewers and friends, Andrew back again and welcome to another Horror Shelf by Shelf. Uh, before I get started going through my movies, I just want to give a big shout out to Cinebyte94 aka N. Um, we've been recently talking and sort of getting to know each other and he seems like a really really cool guy and uh, he's really new to YouTube and he definitely needs the subscribers so I'll be leaving his channel link in the description box below head on over and check him out um, you like if you like my videos you'll like his um, we pretty much have the same tastes in uh, horror especially and you know he does similar videos to me so head on over and check out Cinebyte94 aka N please alright um, on to my uh, next horror shelf by shelf and this is the first slot of my DVDs uh, so first up we have a very limited release uh, this release was done up especially for me and uh, a couple of other people here on YouTube from Joe the Horror Man um, it has the Clown House uh, this is an excellent excellent movie really fun and it also comes with body bags so uh, yeah, pretty lucky to have it. It is very limited. Uh, the next two got sent to me from Eric. They're the infamous horror collection packs. This one's the 8 movie pack with Waxwork, 976 Evil 2, Chud, uh, sorry, Ghoulies 3, Chud 2, The Unholy, uh, Chopping Mall, and Slaughter High, which are two awesome slashes, and Class of 1999. Then the next one has Blood Dying Appearance, Earth Girls Are Easy, Sundown Fido, and Boy Eats Girl. Uh, next up we have a 5 disc horror collection with Machine Head, Killer Nurse, Craving, The Dread, and Simon Says. Mostly picked it up for Simon Says, which is a modern slasher movie. Um double feature Nightmare on Elm Street collection with the original and the remake Tale of Two Sisters Altered which is like a sci-fi horror Amusement double pack of Anaconda and the sequel Anacondas Anthropropagus, The Grim Reaper, love the cover art on that. Uh, this is the two disc special edition. Audition. Autopsy. Um, you know, whenever I saw this in store, for some reason I thought it was called Auto Spy. Um, I have no idea why. Uh, the Australian Collector's Edition of Bad Taste, my favourite Peter Jackson movie. And then I also own the US Anchor Bay Digipack. Definitely the best release of the movie to date. Um, I'd highly recommend tracking down a copy of this if you can. Absolutely love that movie. Next we have Basket Case 2. Beyond Reanimator. Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds, uh, the 80s remake of The Blob, one of my personal favourites. This movie is phenomenal. A DVDR copy of Blood Diner. The Arrow release of Blood Feast 2. Uh, this is out of print. Brain Scan, which is a very underrated horror movie with Edward Furlong. Um, highly recommend that. Buried. Cameron's Closet. Another one that I don't hear too many people talk about. It's pretty good. Castle Freak. Uh, the Changeling with George C. Scott. One of my favourite haunted house movies. Um, excellent film. Love it. Stephen King's Christine, Children of the Corn 2 and 3, um, Children of the Corn 2 is a very very good sequel, Children of the Corn 3 was terrible, Chiller, Company of Wolves, 
Cradle Will Fall, Creep Show. Uh, this is the two disc special edition from the UK with the slip cover. Um, this is a fantastic horror anthology, I highly recommend it. Then Creep Show 2, uh, Critters Collection with uh, Critters 1, 2, 3, and 4. Great Cheese, The Crow, another Stephen King movie, Cujo, Cursed, Dance of the Dead. Uh, this one is really, really underrated. It's one of my favourite modern zombie films. It's pretty much a teenage version of Shaun of the Dead. Danica. Dante 01. Dead End. Dead Set. Um, haven't got around to watching this one yet, but it's um, set in the Big Brother house and there's a zombie outbreak. Deadly Friend. Um, Joe sent this to me. Uh, thanks a lot um, again, buddy. This one is a very, very good Wes Craven movie. That was pretty strange seeing um, uh, so Amy Ann Ramsey, I think. Uh, God, I can't find it. Um, I'm pretty sure it was Anne, Anne Ramsey. She was in the Goonies anyway. Um, it was very, very weird to see her in this one. So um, everyone knows the good old infamous head explosion scene in this one. If you haven't seen it, I definitely recommend checking it out. Uh, the Deadly Spawn. This is one of my favourite 80s creature features and one of my favourite creature features all round. Excellent, excellent movie. Highly recommend it. Devil. Um, Disturbia, which is kind of the unofficial remake to Alfred Hitchcock's Rear Window. Personally, I think it is a very, very good movie. Um, Dolly Dearest. Love the cover art on that. Uh, not so keen on the movie. It was uh, decent, but that's about it. Dolls. Um, again, lovely cover art. Uh, this movie is fantastic. I definitely recommend it. A very, very good killer doll movie. Okay, next shelf we have Don't Be Afraid of the Dark. Um, Guillermo del Toro produced this and he did the screenplay. Absolutely exceptional modern haunted house film. I really can't recommend this enough. Uh, everyone needs to check this out. So well done. Dreamcatcher, still sealed. Jewel. Evil Aliens. Uh, very similar in terms of premise to Bad Taste. Um, I had a lot of fun with it. The Faculty. Fido. Uh, Final Destination Trilogy. Frailty. Frankenstein Triple Feature with Frankenstein, Bride of Frankenstein, House of Frankenstein. Uh, these are classic movies. Then the Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Uh, Frankenstein Meets the Wolfman. Classic. Um, two of my favourite Universal Monsters together. Fright Night. I really need to give this another watch. I wasn't a huge fan of it when I saw it for the first time. But I think it'll grow on me. Beyond the, uh, from Beyond the Grave, this one is a 1970s horror anthology. The Gate, one of the most underrated 80s movies of all time, absolutely love it. Ghost Ship, um, I know not a lot of people like this movie, I thought it was really good for what it was. Uh, the Good Son, more of a thriller but I've just included in my horror section. Uh, great movie. Gremlins 2. The Haunting remake. The Hitcher with uh, C. Thomas Howell and Rocker Hauer. This one's brilliant. Hocus Pocus, childhood favourite. Uh, then the House movies. House. House 2. 
house three and house four and uh, bottom shelf we have the house by the cemetery my favorite Luke Joe Fulci movie house of wax remake uh, double pack of house on haunted hill the original and things to come idle hands I saw the devil this one is more of a revenge thriller but that's definitely an, a brutal enough film to be included in my um, horror collection I think absolutely amazing amazing movie if you haven't checked this one out and you're a fan of revenge movies um, you absolutely need to uh, one of the best if not the best Jaws uh, there you go Eric uh, classic film and I'm really looking forward to the uh, Blu-ray release in August. Can't wait for that. Uh, the Jaws 3 movie collection with Jaws 2. Jaws 3 and Jaws Revenge. Uh, they get worse as they go on. Uh, Jeepers Creepers. Jennifer's Body. Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Uh, great cheesy 80s film. A lot of fun. The Last House on the Left remake. Little Girl Who Lives Down the Lane. Uh, this is another one I don't hear too many people talk about. Um, it was different to what I was expecting. Not exactly a full-on horror. Um, it stars the young Jodie Foster who is amazing in this movie. I definitely recommend it. It is very good. Uh, Macabre with one of my favourite covers of all time. Love the decapitated head. Magic, Martin, Meet the Feebles, which is the Peter Jackson puppet movie, My Dear Killer, Near Dark, Night of the Comet, uh, this is the UK edition, um, I much prefer the artwork on the US release, this is a fantastic 80s movie. Um, Another one I don't hear too many people talk about much, uh, but it is very, very good. Got a great 80s vibe, so highly recommend that. Night of the Demons, the original. Awesome, awesome film. Uh, the Night of the Living Dead remake. I actually prefer this over the original. I think they did such a good job. Uh, one of the best remakes, in my opinion. Very, very good. The Omen remake. And lastly, the others. So that is my next installment in my horror shelf by shelf. Uh, part one of the DVDs. So thanks for watching. Oh yes, and a quick reminder to head on over and subscribe to Cinebyte94, aka N. I'm sure he'll appreciate the subs. And uh, yeah, that's all. See you later.